technology acceptance model. So technology acceptance model, or we can call it uh, in short term, the technology acceptance model, as proposed by Davis in 1989, and later redefined or refined and improved by Davis and others, basically is a way for analysts to organize their thinking about whether users will accept and users and use so what it, uh, users will accept and use information technology it can be used to shape training after a system has been developed but it can also be used early in the development process to garner user reactions to prototypes so that systems can be changed early on in early on in the development process to increase the likelihood of their adoption and use so this is actually a that we use this one to measure measure how users will accept and use a certain technology so in our case a certain information technology and of course uh, even for us to achieve this we have to know human psychology the task the technology in the previous chapters. So Tom draws its power from examining the perceived usefulness of the system to increase one job's performance and the belief about how easy the system will be used when a user sits down to accomplish a task. So we have two keys here, the perceived usefulness, so the user should perceive that it is very useful, it can do the task, and also the perceived ease of it we can do the task and we can also do it use it easily so attitude towards computers includes user satisfaction with the human with the computer interface human computer interface as well as users overall satisfaction with the system the technology acceptance model also points out the importance of whether users find the system useful and are thus motivated to use it since it, this, is a, uh, this is an important HCI concern, we can measure whether the import information technology is found to be useful by examining whether the system provides support for an organizational member's individual tasks. Usability So usability is a way for designers to evaluate the system and interfaces they create with an eye toward addressing as many HCI concerns as thoroughly as possible so some of the HCI concerns will be discussing later so the ISO has created or international standard organization has created usability standards that you can explore on this uh, on the given uh, URL so http www.usability.net.org and the standards cover the use of the product so the effectiveness the efficiency the satisfaction in a particular context of use the user interface so, and the interaction the process used to develop the product and the capability of an organization to apply user-centered design so nielsen and mac so 1994 and nielsen molly snyder and farrell in 2001 have published usability heuristics or rule of thumb rules of thumb based on their thousands of usability tests of interfaces and later tests of e-commerce websites they include visibility of system status match between the system and the real world user control and freedom consistency and standards error prevention reconnection rather than recall flexibility and efficiency of use aesthetic aesthetic and minimalist design help that users recognize diagnosis and recovery from errors and help and documentation so I think that was cut there so these things that I enumerated will be discussed thoroughly as we go on this course so thank you very much for viewing this video